for joining me today. I had gotten a few emails recently. Uh, many of you wanted to see my little craft corner. So I'm going to do that. So I'm and I'm just going to back up and back up a little bit more <laughs> so you can actually see my craft corner. This is in my apartment. And that's pretty much where I create. So, and it's, my apartment is very small. So this is in my living room. You're used to seeing this. So what is directly above, we'll start in this little basket here. This just has me organizing. Um, you know, I had candy dots or embellishments dimensionals, stickers, rhinestones at an easy grasp. And that goes right there. So I do, whenever I reach across the screen like this, I usually try to edit that out so you don't see me grabbing, but I do grab from there a lot. Right here, I have a small dish with my absorber claws that are sort of precariously placed in this little slot. These um, particular boxes I got from Michaels. Over here is just um, a Sensi burner. Doesn't light up, it's just the heated pan. And this little, um, it's almost like an apothecary box. All I have is my reinkers. They fit nicely and it looks good. Um, Quinn just left me, so now you get the... When when I'm crafting, sometimes the cat bed is there, sometimes it's not. Um, okay, so I have my speaker, and then these um, brushes and scissors and whatnot are all for my mixed media. Right next to it is my perpetual birthday calendar. Keeps me on track of when I send cards away. When I receive cards... They go here. I just cleaned the board off. All right, so going into this little tin, pulls right out. Um, I do have a lot of other brands aside from um, Stampin' Up. These are a small assortment of the stash that I do have. And these are the current stamp sets. Usually I have three, but I pulled out all the ones that are getting retired. So have these here and then the paper pumpkin I store just like so. And oops, I try to put, well, I try to put the date on them right in the front so I know what I'm grabbing. Okay, so this is my ingenious way of making my one my single lamp <laughs> not so bright I've got I don't know maybe five pieces of vellum there that and it's cool to the touch so it's safe um, and I'm holding the string with magnets <laughs> yeah so my place is small and this light is too big too bright and it's kind of tough to make it work so underneath I have um, you know some string and ribbons and stuff and this is a metal tin and the metal tin just fits above that shelf so you can see I have a few bits and pieces I'm trying to get out of using a ton of ribbon I don't use it a lot anymore so I want everyone to take note of this beautiful creation that my friend Karen gave me fantastic okay so moving along you're probably wondering what this is. <laughs> this is how I film my videos. Yeah, I'm not joking. So um, the two little bars and it fits right over top of my workspace. It's a webcam and the wire goes along and down. And I don't know if you can see, but down there, Right there is my beautiful computer. It's fantastic. I named it Blue. So the webcam plays on my computer screen. 
And in case you're wondering who this handsome fella is, who's the love of my life, Bexley Speed. That's my computer screen. So he passed away a couple years ago. And he's probably the reason, if you'd ever, um, I don't know if I've ever shared this, but when I lost him, and it's hard to talk about, so I lost him, he, um, I had to put him down, he unfortunately was very sick, and I was alone here in this house, and um, it was tough, I didn't know what to do with myself, so I really got into crafting, and instead of turning my sorrow into a depression, I ended up becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, <laughs> and um, I mean, I was making, creating cards before he passed away, but... Yeah, so this is, you know, he passed away in 2014, January, and I think in March 2014, I became a demonstrator. So I was making cards for about a, a year before that, and uh, yeah, it was just to pass the time. So I have him, I've, this is one of my favorite pictures of him, I love him. Okay, so moving on to something less depressing, um, another speaker. So in this top jar... I have all my expensive paintbrushes that I actually use for watercoloring. So really nice. Underneath is my alcohol markers. I still use them. So these are sort of random markers that I have. Copics and I have a, a white uh, Wink Estella, which I actually don't really like, but whatever. So these are all my markers for stepping up. And these are my what is it, Zig Clean Color brush markers. And I've done the, um, the way Jennifer McGuire has suggested us, or well, how she stores hers, and she's colored the little bit of water paper, and then one full strength, and then the other half with water. So I love these brushes. I have the 62 set. So I also have um, Tim Holtz. Um, you know the distress markers again I don't really use that I use them on Wednesdays but I don't really use them on um, my cards I never use them on my cards and I also have some stampin spots from my uh, paper pumpkin and a few uh, unique different kind of inks so um, above here is my gelatos and then my big brush markers here and then I have the Tim, oh, the entire set of the Tim Holtz markers. And over here I have color box, all listed and labeled. And this is my pencil sharpener. And let's see, okay. Um, here um, is just a box that, and this is where I got the idea for putting, you know, X's above here. You probably, I don't know if you can see that, but there's paper X's inside those boxes. And I got that idea from here because I liked the fact this triangle is sort of, oops, that's in the wrong spot, glue. And this triangle are my cutting things. And on this triangle is bone folders and pokey things. And then here I have... Um, my pens, my Project Life pens, and you know, some pens and stuff. And then on this side, next to the glue, I actually Velcroed and put a nib tab pen on some of my um, glues. And I just, when I, so they're all together. And then underneath, I have a little box and when I create cards that I give out personally, I use the little a stamp saying, whoopsies, hand stamp by Suzanne. And it's made by a local company here in town that I got that made. And then these are all stamping up. And I just keep them handy. There. Okay, moving on. So I have my project, or sorry, my um, Erin Condren Life Planner, and you've probably seen me um, do a video on this, a couple of them. I love it. I don't like it always to be on my desk, though, but my life is here in these books, in these pages. And then under that, 
is a five star notebook. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I talk too much. Is all the, um, my dimensions and what I design for Fabricate Friday. So I think this would be a really neat Periscope video to actually have done, um, to actually show the, the process that I go by, you know, cutting bits and pieces and, you know. Yeah. So just to show you that I actually do work and this is my second book so far. Okay, so back over here. I have my calculator because believe it, and that's my printer as well. Um, over here is like a regular office thing. Um, I have my um, crocodile in there as well. And this is because this desk has to double as my office too. So um, I have, you know, office stuff. And this is where I keep my ink tent pencils. And then just some address books and sort of other things. Oh, and if you wanted to know, these, this metal bar came from like an old shoe rack. I tore it apart. I stuck them together with duct tape on the end there and on the front end, sorry, here. And I mean, uh, this is just micropore tape that I've sort of wrapped around and I have a little shim in here to make this particular thing straight. And then I have one of those C-clamps that's hooking it to sort of like a this is a, a just an old shelf and I that's you know I needed another shelf <laughs> or else it would be open so right here I have the color families of all my papers and this is how I store them these are the 11 and a half by um, 8 or 8 and a half by 11 sorry cardstock and then just recently I got the girl who um, works at my uh, the mailbox to cut down some paper for me. So she was really nice. Only charged me three bucks. Got to thank her for that. Her name's Liz. And then up top here, I have my um, catalog and uh, paper samples for Snappin' Up. My 12 by 12s. Um, my Gonzai Tombe, um watercolors. They Once they're dry, they go back up in here. I have all the 12 by 12 families in here and glitter paper. And then I have right here, I have the secret garden, the artist edition, got that myself for Christmas. And in here, in this photo album, I have my peerless watercolors is what I was watercoloring before. And I've just put it, it's like a pocket page. So, um, yeah, that's the, like there's pigment on here. So, and this is the color and I labeled it and that's how I keep them. So I really like this and I just needed to use it. This is my toner printer so that I can use, um, my mink machine. And I'll show you where that is in a second. Here I have, um, you know, a stamp press and an old paper cutter. So this isn't the one that I use often, but I do like to use it on the odd occasion if it's really small. I call this the packaging center. Envelopes, the um, clear um, thingies that you put cards in, more envelopes, and then I just have like a... Um, it's like a recipe card. So when I do my videos, I fill out this little sheet and then I tuck it in the inside so that I, it's quick and easy. So when I do my affiliate links, those are those little um, pictures that you see um, underneath the video or underneath my blog posts. So this is just actually a planter's pot. It's just a very tiny little, that's where I keep my trash. And it's accessible from the other side so that I can grab it and empty it very quickly. So this unit here matches my pencil holder. And I got this at HomeSense, I think. 
and it houses my misty stamp positioner the um, a extended um, plastic plate a lot of this stuff for my big shot um, just some grid paper my foam mats I have two uh, my um, magnetic plate platforms uh, my brother my stamp and scrub and my ATG, ATG gun you don't see me use that very often okay so secret is out <laughs> I use the Vegabond um, but I do have a big shot and I use the big shot for my classes but for home I use the big shot or sorry I use the um, Vegabond if you've never seen this it's automated so you put the platform in and you grab your clear plastic plates and you all you have to do is press this button and it pushes stuff through it's really cool and it's automated so I don't have to reef on anything um, right now I have two of the um, Joanna Brad Bradford Brad's Bassford um, coloring books and this is where I keep well, for right now, my pencils, uh, my Prismacolors. Such a cute little bag, too, hey? So I can color traveling. And that is all ready for me to go. Okay, so um, top drawer of my um, little container here is where I keep this off shoots, the scraps of my um, colors, my uh, cardstock. I keep the little pieces, tiny pieces in these envelopes. I got that at the dollar store. They are for CDs. And then if the if it's a big enough cut, this could be a layering piece. So I keep the layering piece opposite to the um, scrap piece. And I have all of the colors in rainbow order titled. So it's easy to pick. Um, these sheets of um, white cardstock, they are just um, from, uh, like, for the inside of the card. But I do have my vellum, and I have um, pre-cut uh, my Bristol and my Canson, and then, you know, the very special one, the very special uh, watercolor paper, the Arches. In here, in this box, I have just die cuts and punch outs and you know I had to glam it up one day so <laughs> and then I also keep my daubers in here but when this uh, drawer gets too full these come out and go somewhere else right now they're just filling space okay so this is my toolbox these are where I keep my all my acrylic blocks um, cleaners alcohols Windex water spritzers um, the ink blender tools, my um, stamp positioner. I have my brayer back there. I have a spritzy thing. A few more um, absorber claws. A couple here and a couple little... Um, these are the alcohol wipes that I clean my scissors. So it's basically just tools that I need all the time. And in here, I have my embossing um, containers. The larger ones are the embossing... Um, containers that I use the most so clear black white and dazzling diamonds and then the smaller ones I have gold silver and iridescent ice which is being discontinued and I have a lot of it um, I have this little container here where I put my um, embossing buddy then I have my heat tool and it's plugged in and ready to go I used to have it stored elsewhere but it drives me crazy to go and fetch it all the time and then just underneath, I have just some loose um, embossing powders. And then this drawer has all my adhesives. So every kind of adhesive a person could need and want, I have them here. Glues and just extra, extra. And as I put extra pens and stuff in there too. The next drawer over is my embossing stuff. So everything to do with the... Big shot for dry embossing. And in this drawer, um, I have my blending sponges in family. I also have my, um, I don't use these very much anymore, but baby wipes, dryer sheets, 
and um, Swiffer cloths, and also the in color um, reinkers as well, and extra sponges. And then my last drawer is my upcoming um, upcoming things. So um, I've done. I haven't done my paper pumpkin um, alternatives yet, so that's got to be done. Um, in this tin, I just have like card fronts and stuff like that, things I'm working on that need to be, or things that need to be filmed. Um, I'll put them in here and then, you know, I'll grab them when I need them. Everything has to be organized and it can't be crunched. And then this, this is something I'm doing for Fabricate Friday. A little sneak peek. Woohoo! So at the very bottom is where I keep all my white cardstock, um, card bases, card fronts, different sizes. Thank you, Liz, for cutting them. <laughs> okay, so this is where actually I, um, this it doesn't have a lot of crafty stuff in it, but um, I do keep my envelope punch board, some beads, uh, Buttons are back there, and these things I got from the dollar store, and they hold, you know, embellishments and stuff. This one has metal, and this one has sequins, and sequins, and wooden stuff. Okay, and this is for my business, so I'll keep that off to the side. And then, of course, you recognize this. This is Misty, or my mink machine. It has nowhere to live, so I have to put it in here. And I'll pull it out when I need it. Okay, so underneath my desk, because seriously, I have to keep everything organized. That's my subwoofer for my speakers. There's a little stool for my feet. And then this is the sort of, it's like a little crate almost. And this is where I keep my punches. You can see it's half empty right now because, let's be honest, <laughs> Stampin' Up! is getting rid of a lot of the pump, their um, punches. I also keep my paper towel there and hanging, and you really can't see this. Let me turn on the flash. Here we go. That is my scoreboard. I hang it on the inside of my desk. And then on my other side of my desk, I have a big... Um, paper cutter for classes and this is the paper cutter that I use often um, Stampin' Up! and then this is where I keep my designer series paper and I try to keep it low-key so this is all I have um, yeah I wish I had less <laughs> okay so this is um, where I keep all my stencils for my mixed media projects and then I have a couple of boards here um, this one is for paint and then this one is for the mink machine. And then this, these um, are the sleeves for the mink machine, which are plastic sleeves. And, you know, I keep them all in there. And then this is the Stampin' Up! Um, grid paper that I don't use, but I do have it. And then, I don't know if you can see at the very, very back, I have a ton of mink machine um, foil paper. Um, and, yeah, that's it. And... I have just given you the pretty much the entire tour of my craft space so just goes to show you that you don't need a very big space um, to create in like my space is pretty much this big it's not a lot of room and this is how I work a lot of my mixed media stuff is like inside my bedroom but like on the side where the print where my screen is there's I got two more shelves of just like product colors spray stuffs and all of that because it just it doesn't have I don't use it as frequently as I use my inks and card stocks and stuff so yeah and that is what my craft space looks like there's Molly and that's Quinn their brother and sister hi you Hi, what's going on? Say hi to the peoples. Molly, you know, you suit your name sometimes, you just look so uninterested.
so yeah, Quinn is a little tripod. He had umbilical strangulation on his back leg and he had to have surgery and I was the foster. I am a foster fail. <laughs> so I kept them and him and his sister live happily. They're indoor kitties. Say bye kitties. Bye peoples. Thanks for coming and visiting us. Bye. Mm -hmm.